Hello, good day, good day. Here I am, David Bradley, still with this Commodore 1520 printer plotter, which is still showing an error message. Now, I did refer to the manual online, and it does say just always make sure that. The plotter is on a flat surface, which of course you know, I don't have here. Well, I do, kind of, but I don't. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Now that it's on a supposedly more flat surface, well, it's still doing the same thing. Well, one thing I'm going to do here. It does say things about the paper. Nope, still. Anyway, here I have something many people are familiar with. This is a can of compressed air. And I am going. Blow it in here, paying a special, special attention to the gears and gizmos, etc. Now I can see it's it's off kilter somehow. It's interesting because well, it was sort of doing better before, but you know, this thing, it's almost like a watch. I mean, who knows what little gear is upset with what. And certainly Oh dear. Certainly that seems to be having no grand effect. One of the one thing it does say if the paper's not you know, doing its thing, you should try and re-thread it, or something of that nature. I don't think that has anything to do. I think what we're dealing with is some sort of internal failure. Because the paper is nice and straight. Oh, wow. If I look at the paper... ever so gently, I can see that it actually did try to draw the little squares. I'm now just trying to see if I can sort of force it into some sort of self-test. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be brave. Oh, look at that. I do think some people used to use these. Hey, did that actually move up a bit? Oh. Well, the first couple of times there, It looked like the paper actually advanced. Um, yeah. I really don't like touching any of this. It's funny, I feel... And 
I've heard that they've often had gear troubles. But I don't want to make that any worse. Bing. See, if I do that, well, maybe. It sort of did do the pen thing. It's like it, it's just lost track of where it's supposed to be, I think. And that could be to do with gears and things. It's a very fine little thing. It's funny because I'm sure it should be racing over I feel a little tension in there anyway let's see what happens it's going back Well, interesting. And of course, do I have another one of these things? Well, I might. I probably do. I don't know where. me it just feels like it's just like when it is doing that chicky 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 thing it should be right over at the side but it isn't because that's how the pins get changed the joys Well, let's try there. See, when I do that, I can see. Now the pins are moved. Maybe I've got it back. Who knows? No, it's still off. not exactly on a flat surface. I suppose if I shift it a little bit further back, it's closer to a flat surface. But I don't think that is it. I think what we have here is some sort of alignment, gear, issue. And sadly, at this moment, I don't think I'm getting anywhere with it. Although that, well, that seemed Oh, 
very strange. Anyway, back to the voter. I looked in the manual, and there are a great many interesting programs in there to draw all kinds of cool things. Um, which can be typed in. So they say. No. We are not getting anywhere. Nowhere good anyway. Trying right inside, I know you can't exactly see, but there's this wire that goes across. <sighs> well, another interesting find, but oh, I'm not really getting anywhere. What I'm just going to do, and I hope this isn't alarm anybody too much. I've just got a light here. I'm just going to shine in here so I can kind of get a better look. At what might be happening. Well, it's funny, I see, initially, there is a, a thing spinning. The back, very back, tiny little thing is spinning. But it's not really... Oh, that has to do with the paper advance. Yeah, I think maybe we have some gear. Oh, that was interesting. Maybe we have some gear issues here. I seem to remember, I mean these gears are nylon and they're old. I seem to remember at some point maybe there were issues of having gears that were kind of split. Anyway, I'll take that light away. Maybe I'll just hold it here. Well, I don't think the great breakthrough with this Plotter is imminent. So, I am not giving up. Not yet. I think I will look. The manual I, I found online was just the user guide, which, you know, doesn't have a whole lot of in-depth stuff. It's almost like it's forgotten where the end on the left side is. And maybe I didn't do anything to help that. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, here we are with the Commodore 1520 printer plotter. If anyone has any great suggestions, even not great suggestions, don't hesitate. For the moment, we'll shut her down. We have sprayed air in there. Has it done any good? Well, it seems not. So, um, also, of course, 
this this would probably make a fine display unit. It does look a little dirty. So it ha but everything seems to be here. So it might make a fine part of a collection and say, look at this. But of course, what would I do before any of that might happen? What would I do? What would I do? I would take and rub it over with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Why? Well, because see, I see some imperfections, nothing terrible. Um, and a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser makes everything look so much better. And the other, uh, well, I mean, it wouldn't help in this little grill part here. A magic eraser would not help. But in that case, a teeny tiny little, even not so tiny, well, not so tiny, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, a toothbrush. Ever so gently in there. Anyway, I'm not going to open this up. I'm not going to tinker on it much more at this moment because I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with it. Oh, I wonder what that is. So, um, anyway, but here it is. It does cool things. If you can find one, I'm sure it'll be a great source of intrigue and interest. And of course, um, of course, you can then tell people that you have one and they don't. Anyway, I hope yours works better than this one. Um, I wish this was one that was easy. A case where I could just turn it on and it would work, and that was easy, but it isn't. So, hello. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm afraid. Oh, there. There's Darth Vader. I'm afraid this is a time. Or yes, we may end up in the Twilight Zone. I am your father. Ooh. You don't know the power of the dark side. Yes, the dark side that... Oh, oh there's nothing to do with the dark side here. There's just the Twilight Zone in our constant quest to rehabilitate Vintage 8-bit technology. Thank you for coming. Uh, stay tuned. I'm sure at some point I'll have another one of these, or I will get this one working, or I will have more insights, perhaps. At least that is my hope. Farewell for now.